Okay, now we're going to talk about PVCs for a minute. So, what I wanted to point out to you is in all of these rhythms, my baseline rhythm is the sinus rhythm. PQRST, 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 PQRST. So your baseline rhythm in these that I have drawn are sinus rhythms. So here you have one, two, three sinus rhythms, and then you have a very abnormal beat um, that has the QRS in one waveform, in one direction, and, and the T wave in the opposite. So this is a PVC, okay? right here with a resolution to a sinus rhythm. So when you have a PVC of one shape, one morphology, it is called a unifocal PVC. Okay? On this one, so again, I know I covered in the lecture, but remember PVCs are caused by some type of ectopy in the ventricle, hypoxia. Um, hypercarbia, hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia, there are a variety of causes. So this waveform means there is one particular section of the heart that is irritated, so it fires off an earlier ectopic beat. So on this, I have a sinus beat, then I have another PVC that looks like this one, sinus beat, sinus beat, sinus beat, and then I have another PVC here, so how this one went had an upward deflection first, then a downward. This one has a downward deflection, then an up. So this is PVC number one. This is PVC number two. So when you have two PVCs, it is called multifocal, okay? So meaning multi, you have more than one sources of irritation in the heart. So what's important to realize, if you have a patient that you're taking care of, and you've been taking care of them from either four hours or three days or whatever your, your working schedule is, and they've always had a baseline sinus rhythm, and they start to fire off PVCs that you've not seen before, you have to become suspicious of something. Now, we all have PVCs um, just as part of, you know, daily lives, but now, when you have two different waveform morphologies on your PVCs, you now have to begin to worry that you have two areas of ectopy in the heart. This waveform, you know, this, this strip up here, is, it's sinus rhythm with uh, a unifocal PVC, but now I have a sinus rhythm with multifocal PVCs, okay? So they're still isolated one at a time. However, this third strip is actually much worse. Sinus, sinus, I have a PVC, the first one is going in an upward deflection, okay, then down, then the second one right next to it starts down, and then the deflection is up. So this one, and then it resumes to a sinus rhythm. So this is what's called a couplet. When you have PVCs side by side, and when you have a multifocal couplet, that means from two different sites of irritation side by side. So I described they're a couple. They're holding hands or they can be called a pair. So this is one type of P PVC. When you have um, unifocal PVCs in isolation, it should um, increase your awareness on that rhythm. But when you have side by side a couplet of multifocal, it is significantly worse and it should really elevate your level of suspicion because as soon as you have another source of irritation, you can have a sinus rhythm, and then this can happen. So whatever the, the irritation was that caused this, so this is a one, two, three, four, oh, here you go, I'll finish it, a five-beat run of VTAC. So when you have PVCs that occur over the rate of 100 beats per minute in a row, three or more is uh, constitutes a run of ventricular tachycardia. It may resume to a sinus rhythm, okay, but you should follow whatever your hospital protocols are that uh, if you have a patient that you're taking care of with either a three, four, or five beat run of VTAC.